The story I'm about to tell you is still, by far, the scariest thing I've ever experienced. During the market craze in 2021, I was doing a lot of showings via FaceTime. I kind of liked it because I didn't have to fully dress up. One Saturday, I was touring a home via FaceTime with my buyer. They lived in the area, but knew they wouldn't be able to get off work in time to view the home, and it already had multiple offers. I offered to do a FaceTime call so they wouldn't miss out on the opportunity to put in an offer. When I arrived at the house, I opened the front door before calling my buyer. For the non-realtors listening, we have to use an app on our phone to open the door, which can't be accessed while we're on the phone. After accessing the key, I went back out to the road and FaceTime with my buyer so she could see the neighborhood. Walking back up to the front door, I showed her the landscaping and pointed out a small defect in the roof that I noticed while opening the door. I turned the camera around on my phone so she could see what I was seeing without my big head being in the way. I walked through the living room, bedrooms, and kitchen with her saying, what's that, every once in a while? That's the pantry door, I replied to one of her questions. As I was approaching the back patio, the sun shining in was causing a glare on the phone and she said, I can't see anything. I turned the camera back around to where she was seeing me. Sorry about that. Let me get this sliding glass door open and I'll turn the camera back around. I propped my phone up against the wall so I could use both hands to open the door. I heard her let out a small gasp. What's wrong? I asked casually while trying to get the lock on the slider open. Oh, uh, nothing. Hey, I'm actually here. Come open the front door. Her comment surprised me. You're here? I said while picking up my phone to address her. Yeah, come open the door, please. I can't wait to see this house. I stopped messing with the stupid lock that was clearly stuck and went to open the front door. Just as I opened the front door, my client calmly says, Corinne, there's someone in the house. Get out. It took me a second to comprehend what she said. Shaking, I responded, What? As if she saw someone running behind me at that exact moment, she yelled, Corinne, run! My feet responded before my brain did, and before I knew it, I was standing in the middle of the road, facing the house in a complete panic. I pulled the phone up to my face, pleading with my buyer. What did you see? Her answer almost made my heart stop. When you were opening the back door, there was a man crouched down in the kitchen behind you. My hand flew up to my mouth in disbelief and I immediately started crying. A neighbor must have seen me run from the house because he came out asking if I was okay. I felt the panic really starting to kick in and I didn't want my buyer to see me lose my shit. So I told her I'd call her back. As soon as I hung up the phone, I hit my knees and started crying and screaming while pointing at the house. The neighbor bent down to comfort me. He saw how shaken I was and offered to call the cops. All I could do was nod my head yes. The police arrived quickly. Three officers entered the house and came back out a couple minutes later with a man in handcuffs. Chills ran down my spine as I realized how close I came to being this man's victim. I watched in horror as one of the officers put the man in the back of the cop car. After I finished giving my statement, I called my buyer back and thanked her profusely. I can't believe how smart she was to tell me that she was at the property and for me to open the front door instead of just screaming, get out. She said she didn't want to make the situation worse by freaking me out. So the best thing to do was to get me to the front door calmly. Even though she wasn't there in person, she admitted that this was also the most terrifying thing she's ever experienced. My advice? Be more aware of your surroundings. 